In this tutorial, we will be learning about page layout. Page layout is very important because it allows us to lay out our document according to our needs. To adjust page layout, go to page layout tab. Here you can find several options to perform page layout. First is the page setup group. Here you can find margins which is one of the very important part of our page layout operation. Click on margin and here you can find some pre-formatted margins for our page. Normal, Narrow, Moderate, Wide, Mirror and Windows Office 2003 default. Right now Normal margin is selected. Now let us select narrow which means the top, left, bottom and right margins are 0.5. Let's click on this to apply this margins. As you can see the size of margins at top, bottom, right, left has been changed. We can also customize these margin by clicking on margin and go to custom margin. Here we can decide all the margins by ourselves top, bottom, left and right. We can also set up paper. Is it a letter? Ledger, Legal, Statement, Executive, A3, A4 and etc. Which you can scroll and explore from here. This is how we can set up our page. Now let's add a watermark. To add watermark we can go to this page background and click on watermark. As you can see there are several templates given by Microsoft Word, Confidential, Do Not Copy and some other. We can also customize our watermark. For example, let's add a text watermark. Select text watermark and let's give a simple text input this is my page and select OK as you can see our custom watermark this is my page has been added next is page color to select any background color of our page we can go to page color and select color from here. For an example, we'll select this color. Next is page borders. By clicking on page borders, this dialog box will open. From here, we can select borders and shading for our page. If we go to the borders, there are some borders given here. We can select any from them like box and we can also select the color of our page border. For example, we will select this color and we can select the width of the border as well and of course the style of the border. It will give a little preview here that how our page will look like after applying these settings. Now select this and click on OK 
and as you can see the border is being inserted